Okay, I'm gonna rock out live here while I've got some voice left. It might even be an echo out here, so hopefully, hopefully, I might go over here. Hopefully, my voice lasts for this because I've been talking and screaming and jumping around and whatever else I do. And I'm gonna get to that soon. If you've just been following my weekend, it has been absolutely epic. I've learned an absolute fuckload, if you wanna put it in them words. They talked about shitload a lot on stage this week, but I've learned a heap. My tripod's not learning a heap right now, it's just freaking lost it, a bit like my voice. But I put in the title there, guys. I put in the title there, a little bit crazy. Most people say they're a little bit crazy. Most people say they've got high energy. Most people say, 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 and guess what? Tara, how are you? Guess what, most people talk shit. Most people say a lot of things, and when they finally find that they've actually got to do something and follow through with what they've spoken about, when they've got to follow through with what they've been saying, they don't do shit because they're full of shit. I've got to say that, and I've learned this myself, because that used to be me, ba ba ba, all the time about so many things in life, and guess what, I never got anywhere I wanted to go, because at the end of the day, shit was actually too hard. And I am talking from a point of people talking to me about what I'm doing at the moment, people talking to me about what I'm creating with my team and the people I'm working with. It's pretty bloody simple what I do. I ask a question, I ask a question like, do you see yourself as being a little bit crazy? Do you see yourself doing something different? Do you see yourself contributing and influencing to other people? If that's a yes, you're sort of partly qualified. But when you get to the next step, when you actually gotta take action towards this, we might have to get out of your comfort zone more than fucking once in your life. A lot of you just fall short. A lot of you just back down. A lot of you are like, like I said before, full of shit. Now, I might be coming a bit blunt right now, but I'll tell you my last 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure I've spoken to no short of 40 people through messages, a couple on calls. That's a fair bit. There's not a lot of time in there. Ask simple questions, simple questions. How are you? That's a cool one. That's a cool one. But you guys know how I roll. I am high energy. Not all the time. But I bring energy to whatever I'm doing. I bring energy to whatever I'm passionate about. Because it's not fake energy. It's passion. It's what I want to do. It's what I believe in. So many people out there do not know what it is. They don't know what it is. So they've got to look to others. That's why they reach out. That's why they watch on social media. They're like, well, I want something that person's got. And in my case, it's like, how come you've got this energy? How come this, this, where is this energy coming from? Mr. Lee Lynch, I'll say hi to you, brother. Everyone else who's jumping on, you must have landed over there, man. I've done a few lives this weekend, brother, and I'd love you to check them out when you get a chance. Um, from Momentum here in Brisbane, where I tell you what, being in an arena, I'm not going to call it that, with 3,000 people who have showed up with amazing, crazy energy, there's nothing like that. There's nothing like that, guys. Well, there is, actually, is when there's 5,000 people in an arena, when there's 10,000 people or 30,000. Yeah, but here's the thing. If you're looking for something in life, and if it's more energy and excitement, and you reach out to someone who is having an exciting life, who is living a life that you may want something, one little part about it, when they tell you how they're doing it, and you're like, well, no, that can't be it, who the fuck are you to know? I'm just telling it how it is. Ask a question, this is what I do. Oh, wait, no, that's not for me, but you've never done it before, so how do you know it's not for you? Sometimes people have just got, you've got to let down your guard on the things you want. Sometimes you've got to let down your guard and let someone, just someone or something or somebody show you something that you may or may not want to have a look at. So many people in life don't even get to that point because they've got fucking all this bullshit going on in their head. Motorbikes and shit freaking around now. So, many, so much shit going on in their head and guess where this shit's coming from? The people around them. The people around them, which they don't even know what they're gonna say yet, but they're already making up in their head, they're gonna say. So I ask you again, if you face this in life, when you want something someone else has got, be it energy and excitement and fun or doing something different, which you see all the time, and you reach out or they reach out to you and you're like, yeah, I wanna know more, why do you do this? Why do you do this? Because you're fucking scared. 
because you don't want change bad enough. Because you don't want whatever you want to ask about, you actually don't want it because you're too fucking shit scared. I'm just saying this from experience, guys, and I'm saying this from this has been being in this position many times. Even lately, there's been times where I've just wanted to close off. People have been there for advice for me to step up and ask. Step up and ask. And that's what I'm doing, Chi. G'day, everyone who's on there too. Hello, everyone, but I'm just straight into this. It, it is a filter. But you know what? I don't want to filter everyone out of my life. I don't want to be hard and tell people the, like the absolute blunt truth all the time because I want people I understand. I understand that people have been through a lot. I understand that people have had their environment smash them to bits sometimes. I understand that. But here's the thing. It's been a, an absolute theme of my weekend so far. If you want change in your life and you see someone else doing something you might want to do and it excites you, forget about what's happened. Forget about your past. Forget about your soul story. Forget about the victim. Forget about that stuff. Get excited about the reason why you even thought about asking some advice or why you want to change. Go in with that excitement. Be the identity that's not the one that's stuck in your past, not the one that's got all these problems, not the one that's got all these bills, not the one that's in a life they don't want. And have a look at something that may progressively, here's the thing guys, so many people think this is black and white, progressively lead you to a better life. Progressively in whatever time you've got. So many people are scared of making change because they think they have to like literally step out of their fucking body into a whole new body and start life again, but at the same fucking age. That's what it comes across as sometimes, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Talk to so many people in jobs they don't like, but it's not, hey, get out. It's not that. But how can we create more excitement in your life? How can you gain more energy and passion about what you might want to do in life? That's what it's about. See, I've made some choices over the last couple of years that have fucking sent me back, to set me sideways, set me up, sent me down. But I know the one thing that keeps me going is my energy and excitement about what I see in the future, about all these people that I always talk to and always learn off, that have got something that I want. Exactly, Lee, the, the new identity switch. Go into something, if, if you want that, if you want that freedom or whatever in life, and you're gonna ask a question, ask a question from a place where you're gonna be open to listen to the answers. Sometimes I get caught out and I do get frustrated and this is why I come to places like this to learn from how to deal with the frustration of listening to people when they take one step forward and 15 steps back, the 15 steps back being the excuses they'll roll out. At the end of the day, I understand that people aren't where they want to be. I'm not where I want to be now, I understand that. But when I hear it over and over again from the same thing without listening to a solution, well, you know what? Then it becomes a filter. They're my sympathy for you. I'm, I can give sympathy, but I actually feel sorry for a lot more people than I give sympathy to, for them coming unstuck for something that was out of their control. So many people play the victim and they don't even realize it. So many fucking people. I am truly passionate about this. I am truly passionate about helping people. Otherwise, I would have shut up ages ago. Otherwise, my energy would have dropped off ages ago. Otherwise, I would have went and hid and went back to whatever I was doing. But I tell you what, more so now than ever, I want you people to understand that whatever it is that you want in life, you've got to do something about it right now. If it's this much a day, it's this much a day. If it's that much a day, it's that much a day. If it's fucking all in, that's the crazy that I want to talk to. People get confused when they hear crazy, whatever, I'm going to go all out, I'm going to go all in. And how are you, brother? If you want to change it up and create something, it's perfect. Even the language you've used in that, Lee, is fucking spot on. But what do you do about it, people? Like I say, I can come on here and I can crap on, I can talk. I've talked a lot this weekend. I've talked to a lot of people, and this is where I get my experience from, guys. I talk to a lot of people, and I'm just going to get embarrassed. I appreciate that, Chi. You are amazing, too. I have to say that on there. Doing your best to make me uncomfortable. <laughs> but here's the thing, guys. I talk to a lot of people. I get knocked back from a lot of people who don't even listen to what I've got to say. I get judged by a lot of people. I talk from my experience, guys. 
I go and hide sometimes. I'm fucking real. I break down sometimes. I fucking cry sometimes. But I'm up and about all the time because I know that the more people I talk to about whatever it is, there's someone out there who's waiting for what I've got to say to them. They're going to dive all in and they're going to say, where the fuck have you been? I've been screaming for something like this to happen. So if you're already doing what you're passionate about, if you're already doing that now, keep going, keep doing, keep doing the do. Keep showing up. Keep copping the nose or the knockbacks or the knockdowns from that bullshit environment that most of us have got in our life every now and then. The whole crabs in a bucket syndrome, there's more crabs in a cage I was saying this weekend. That was a brilliant analogy I was saying. I'm not even going to roll it out now because I listened to a pro do it and I was like, holy shit. This isn't all about joining me. I'm looking for a couple of crazy people to join me with crazy energy. That's all I'm looking for. The rest of you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you've already found passionate about. But if you are that person who knows right now they're stuck at the point where they've got to do something different and you're willing to just fucking take the lead of someone like me who will get down in the trenches with you and fucking link arms with you and show you how the fuck I'm doing it every fucking day, doing it wrong, doing it all over the shop, copying the criticism, copying the judgment. But if you want someone like that and you want to get a bit crazy, you want to run with something that's going to create a life of freedom and fulfillment, they're the people I'm looking for. I know it's not everyone. That's why I'll keep showing up. But I appreciate all the comments there too. I appreciate all the feedback. It's fantastic. I just wanted to get this out before I do lose my voice. Actually going out now to hang with some amazing people. These people have got what I want. Guess what they get to do? They get to fucking party. I'm going to party, not the old school way. I'm going to party. I'm going to pick these guys' brains because they have a lifestyle I want. They have a lifestyle of freedom to do what they want when they want guess what i heard them all talk today these guys have got millions and millions and millions of dollars in the bank all they talk about is serving others getting down and doing the hard work with others who are willing to do the hard work with them so why they come to places like this they don't get paid for it. they come because they love it they've got enough fucking money so i'm going to go out and i'm going to hang with them i'm going to pick their brains apart i'm going to do my best to get them drunk and kidnap them and get their fucking success blueprint because that's what i'm willing to do so if anyone's crazy enough out there like that, I want to talk to you, inbox me. If you're too fucking scared to talk it on there, that's fine, I understand, I've been there before. Inbox me, I want to do this, I'm gonna run like a mad person. Here we go. Getting messages now from people who are scared. I can call you out on here, I don't care. <laughs> I want crazy people, that's all I want. And thank you for the love. I see my mum and Chi Chi there have taken over my house. I'm gonna get through the comments. Any questions, please. What do we got? We got some superstars on here too. I appreciate everyone, I really do. Do, 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 do. What did my mum say? It's really important I see this. Big heart, but you have to do what you have to do to achieve. Yeah, exactly, mum. You gotta do what you gotta do to achieve in life. And I tell you what, I make lots and lots of mistakes, guys. I make heaps of mistakes. I used to make a lot of mistakes in my past, but guess what the difference is now? Guess what the difference is now? I learn from that shit. And if I don't see the lesson, I ask someone else who's been through that, who's done something similar. I drop my fucking ego. I don't know it all, I'll never know it all. As soon as you say you know it all, you know better, you've lost it. That's just your little ego voice and that's too many people in this world. Anyway, thank you everyone. I appreciate you too, Ant. I appreciate everyone on here. I've got to go, I've got to go party with like people who've got what I want. Be they can't party like I can. Thank you, everyone. Mate, Katrina, what have we got there? That's a little bit of correlation. Sometimes you have to make a few bad decisions to know which ones are right. Perfect, Katarina. So that's a yes from you. You're all in. Awesome. That's how easy it is, guys. I'll see you later.